In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to fix error while communicating with Rocket League servers. Now, essentially, this error means that when you try and play a game, it's going to basically give you that error code which says we can't connect to the servers, that kind of thing. Now, it's actually very simple to fix, and this is going to be a fix for PC users. So, first of all, you want to go ahead and check that the servers are actually up. You can do that online, type in, are the Rocket League servers down, that kind of thing. Now, if they are up, then the way to fix it is very simple. First things first, make sure you close the game completely, so just go ahead and quit it. Now once you've done that, you should be shown the Epic Launcher here, and if you haven't, you can just go ahead and open up the Epic Launcher. And um, from here, you want to go ahead and find Rocket League. So once you've done that, you want to go to these three dots here. Make sure you don't clip on, click on it, because that will open it. Go and find the three dots here, and you want to go over to where it says Manage. Once you click on manage, you want to go here and it says verify files. So when you click on this button, essentially this is going to check that the files are all working. It's going to check that there's no corrupt files and that kind of thing. Now generally, if you are facing the error that we're talking about, so the communicating Rocket League servers, it's going to find a corrupt file in here and it's going to repair it for you. So this can take a few minutes, you know, maybe one to up to five to ten minutes. And it's basically going to verify every single file to make sure they are all the way they should be. And basically, if there are corrupt files, it will tell you and it's going to reinstall them for you. And you should be able to then relaunch Rocket League and it should fix the error. Now, if that doesn't solve it, there is actually one more way that can fix it. And this way pretty much works every single time. So you want to basically go down onto your search bar and type in documents. And you want to find your documents folder. Once you're inside the documents folder, you want to look for the one that says my games. So click on that there. And then you want to go ahead and click on the one that says Rocket League. From there, you want to go to TA game, and there's going to be a file here or a folder called cache. You want to go ahead and delete the cache folder, just like that. And now you can go ahead and restart the game, and that should, you know, reinstall the cache, whatever, and uh, you'll basically, it'll work. So the cache files can often cause weird errors for some reason. So go ahead and launch the game now, and it should work. That's basically how you do it. So if you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe, comment down below that helped, and let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to make about Rocket League or any other game in particular. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.